All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? Wow, wow, wow. All right, so we're going to start off with the Trap Tricks deck today. Not start off with, but we're going to finish the Trap Tricks deck. This will be the last time we are playing it. So get a good look. We're going to go straight back in with it. Not really too much has changed since last Friday's video. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. But before we start, I would like to say thank you guys for watching. And if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. So without further ado, let's hop straight in. All right, so we're going to start off at going up against Palumbo. Or Palumbo. Or Palamudo. One of the seven. Um, we're going to start in, but um, one thing I do want to let you guys know is, for some odd reason, I'm not getting no really... I'm, oh man, I'm just going to let him do him because there's absolutely nothing I can do. I can't stop this. This is just, this is beyond my, this is beyond my goddamn power. This is beyond my control. What? You're not even going to summon Raiden. I mean, Minerva. You know what? Thank you for not summoning Minerva because you know what? He, he know damn well he didn't deserve that Minerva. He know he didn't. He knew he didn't. So that's why he didn't do it. That's the only reason why he did not summon Minerva um let's go ahead and get the bottom list yeah but um yeah it's not like I, i'm not responding to you guys is uh what i'm saying to you guys comments or i'm just reading them and not doing anything about them i literally just they don't they don't tell me when i have a comment i literally went i was like this whole time this whole week i was thinking man nobody's left a comment i was like damn you know no I'm not, I'm not getting engaged with man i missed the comments go check my comments and there's like 10, 15 comments that have been made already. I'm like, what the fuck? And I don't know. I've, I've checked everything. I don't know really what I can do. I, I it won't it won't tell me how to fix it. It won't do anything like that. It just it just does not give me those type of notifications, which I don't understand why. But it, it just really doesn't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just have to do just keep checking my videos because it's it's not letting me know. Like not on my phone. They're not telling me on uh they're not they're not telling me on my phone. They're not telling me uh what do we want to get? I think we go clear wing here. Why did I go clear wing? I did not mean to go that. Well let's just do that. Let's just go into battle phase. But we can declare an attack, so it doesn't really matter. But like I I, I you know, I, I love commentating I mean uh, interacting with you guys and stuff. I like to see you guys as you know, thoughts and stuff like that, but for some odd reason, it did like on my phone. It wasn't doing it. It doesn't act. I mean, it didn't tell me on my phone. It didn't even tell me when I signed into YouTube because it usually gives you like a little notification thing in a in the corner. It didn't even give me that. So I don't know what the hell is going on. But it literally did not did not did not tell me shit. I'm sitting here thinking I I didn't get a, a whole I didn't get a comment this whole last week. And you know, nevertheless. I literally got multi I got multiple comments. So thank you guys for commenting. Keep commenting. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a better job, you know, checking my 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 videos and stuff like that because I mean I'm not getting no type of notifications. So getting back into the duels, not really too much is happening. As you see, we're just uh going off on our opponent. The only reason I went this is because I thought it was gonna be a Ryko or something like Damn dog. Uh, I'm about to lose because of that 2,500. Watch. I guarantee you, I'm going to lose because of that 2,500. I know I am. I know I am for sure. I'm going to lose because of that 2,500 I did not attack with. I know that's going to be the case. Um, and right now, I'm, I'm, in a real, I'm in a real disgusting spot because, oh, wow, Starlight Road. Now, that's just beauty. You know what? I'm going to let him. Uh, I'm going to let him actually attack with his judgment dragon over this and then use the effect and then hit him with, <laughs> and then hit him with a damn what's the name and then hit him with the starlight road he's going to be very upset um but look he could have easily been down to um 1400 but for some reason i decided to click main phase two but <clears throat> i feel like we have the game on lock we have imperial order for literally any spell in the game we have starlight road for any mass destruction we have a trap trick strap hole. We have a dimensional barrier. And we have a what's name. See, look, here he goes. He's getting that fourth light sworn in the grave. 
And you know what? Oh, fuck. Yes, yeah, sir. You're not getting that. <laughs> We're not letting that one happen. That's definitely not happening. But he does have his four in the grave. So he's going to drop his Judgment Dragon. Let's go ahead and put Ignore Chain right now. So he can successfully summon it. So he thinks that he's all the way into the clear. Um, nope. He's not. He's going to summon Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't know what you're going to do. We're going to just go ahead and negate that with Clear Wing. And now he's not going to want to. Now he's not going to drop Judgment Dragon because he's not going to attack. Matter of fact, he is going to drop Judgment Dragon. You know why? Because I've already used. I've already used what's the name's effect. So he's going to use. Uh, he's going to use it now. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit him with the young Starlight Road. And I I I'm figure he's going to quit and we're going to get into a game too. Oh, we don't play Starlight? We don't play it? We don't play Stardust? Wow, you sack of shit. You are a sack of shit. That is some good shit right there, bro. We don't play Stardust. We do not play Stardust. That is something we probably need to put in here. Ha! Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, laugh about that. There we go. There's a surrender. All right. So here we go with the side deck. And we are playing. Um, I don't really don't know really what to put in here. We could definitely cut out these right here. Where, where are they at? Nope, we don't. No, the twin twisters. We can definitely take these out. Um, we can put in some. We can put in these. We can definitely put in a third trap hole, treacherous. Um, put in a time series because he does a lot of special summoning from the hand So we can definitely put some shit back to his deck and we have drawn a decent hand. This is not too bad um, Let's see what he mills. All right. Look at the li literally look at his hand like he started off with a right and mill and milled two and went plus two So that's just ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he has a solar recharge If I'm not mistaken, he should have a solar recharge that's the reason why he grabs... Okay, no, he just grabbed Lumina. All right, so this is uh, obviously a man who he is not the greatest player of all time. He's not the greatest Lightsworn player. So we're going to have to give him... Oh, my God. But you know what? That's fine with me because Max D can serve his purpose. And it's got to... And now, look, I literally... I'm just... I'm, he's one off of Judgment Dragon. I mean, he's already have Judgment Dragon right now. But you know what? We do have a lot of good cards. Um, this Starlight, I mean, not this Starlight Road, but this Dark Hole is going to get somewhere, hopefully. Um, Threatening War, that is completely 100% fine, sir. I'm not tripping. Let's go ahead and search Trap Tricks. Trap Hole Nightmare, and what we can do is get, uh, wait, what am I talking about? Let's summon, um, see that now we can get the time space, but right now we're going to get the, we're going to get this. And what we're going to do we're gonna put uh, the worst one. Um, we can't attack this turn, so we're gonna put the worst one in the middle, and then fill them out the rest of them, the rest of the way. In Jesus Christ, this is very scary. But we're gonna summon Trap Tricks Mermillo and search a trap, trap hole, trap, a trap tricks trap hole nightmare. There we go. So hopefully he doesn't. Uh, even if he does Twin Twister, he literally needs two Judgment Dragons. Um, okay, now that sucked. Um, you know what? No, it doesn't because we're going to hit you with this. We're going to hit you with the floodgate because I literally don't need him to get any other type of advantage. He's already at an advantage. Millen, <laughs> did I do you see his I understand he is playing 40 cards, and you're most likely going to mill pretty good with Light Swords with 40 cards. But um, there's one Judgment Dragon, so let's go ahead and hit him with the Young Bottomless Trapo and hold on real quick because my phone's going all right, folks, so he summoned Judgment Dragon. He got bottomless, and that was the end of that. We have drawn an Instant Fusion. Now, what we can do with Instant Fusion, um, we can actually do a lot. Uh, let's see um, what we can do. We can we can get... No, uh, wait, actually, we can't do a lot because I'm thinking that we're playing a different deck. But we only have Norden in here, correct? Oops, nope, not that. Yeah, we only play Norden, so no, that's not going to work. Gonna attack with the young man known as Mermilio. Cause you gotta attack with the highest attack. You never know. Oh, I'm I'm comp oh fuck, Jesus! No, I did not mean to activate that. Well, let's just do that. Let's 
There's literally no reason to do that. But this does dodge uh, twin twisters and stuff like that. So that's a pretty good effect. Now, what I can do right now is go into the young man known as Trap Chicks uh, Rafflesia. Or the young woman known as Trap Chicks Rafflesia. And we can keep it saucy with that. And I think that's what we're going to do here. We're definitely going to do that. And it, it still bothers me that this card is only when it's normal summon. <laughs> Literally is the stupidest shit I've heard of in my entire life. But hey, I guess, I guess. Uh, I don't I don't understand why it doesn't trigger when it's special summon. I, I have no clue. I don't know why they did that. But hey, I guess we can't even not going to continue to complain about it because literally we can't do anything about it. That's Konami. And speaking of Konami. Um, yeah, let's let's fucking do it. Let's just do it. Let's just book it. Um, let's send that. Let's just book it. Cause we don't even we don't want him to gain no type of advantage. Fuck him. Fuck Palumbo. Fuck all that. He ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing off. That's fine. You forgot about my Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, huh? You sure did, huh? You sure did. You forgot about this, young man. You know, it's fine to forget. It's fine to forget. Don't tell me you got the third one, because that's going to piss me off. All right, he does not have a third one. Oop, and we have drawn the best card in the game. So right now, what we can do is just... Uh, we can use this young man known as Instant Fusion... And uh, get the Norden. That's that, that's banned. We literally have a month left to play with this young individual, and it's 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 going to be a good month because we're gonna we're gonna use as much Nordens as we actually can. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and go into. We don't play Dweller, so let's just go ahead and go into Utopia. That's cool. That's a Raiden. I gotta remember that. As long as I remember that, we're good long as we remember that that is a Raiden. So, since most of the shit that he's going to be doing is special summoning from the hand, he's probably probably going to use this Necro Gardener. I don't know. I'm not a mind reader, but I do pretty good thinking, I mean, you know, thinking for my opponent. Um, no, he's not going to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and add this. Uh, let's add Endless because that's easier to, I guess, trigger. Um, let's do that. Go into battle phase. He's probably is he going to negate this attack? That kind of would be a smart thing to do. Probably not too early, but I I wouldn't blame him if he did do it, because I he's probably trying to mitigate the damage, trying to limit the damage as much as he can. No, he's not going to do it. He's actually going to let it go through. Like I said, either or he could have did it either way. You know, it's not really too much he can do. Um, I have three trap cards. He has one Judgment Dragon left. Um, I have two Trap Holes. I have a Dimensional Bear, just in case. I'm, now, what would fuck me over is a Young Soul Charge. And I know I shouldn't say it, because I understand it might happen. Wow, he drew another one. Isn't that just lovely? Well, you know what? Let's book you. Let's just go ahead and book you. Because for some odd reason... They give you thir they give you three judgment dragons for no reason. They just give it to you. All right, there we go. Now we can get some things going. Let's go ahead and set that. And you know what? we're gonna straight attack over. He not okay. Well, let's uh let's no fuck. That was a complete accident. I was not supposed to do that. You never attack with this first. Never attack what you don't know first because then. Your opponent that could like that could have been a Raiko, and I could have been completely fucked over, and I could have actually lost because that would that would have been if that would have been a Raiko, I would have lost. He would have hit this, that would have been the end of that. Let's just put those two in the grave. We played nothing to resurrect anything, but you know what? We do have this Naturia Sacred Tree, so we can do some things with that. We can do a lot of things with that. Um, in the main phase, he's not going to do anything. Okay, well, that's going to be the end of that. And then now we're going to just go in for the money shot. That sounded pretty awful. <laughs> I said we're going to go in for the money shot. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just go all the way completely in. 
that's 28 yeah so we can okay he's going to surrender but you know like i said we could have attacked he would have negated attacked he would have negated 25 would have went through and now the sacred tree attributing this getting something else so we win regardless all right here we go going up against t solo here hopefully we do win the rock paper scissors looking like he's a peace man and he is a peace man probably should have went rock to crush that piece but he didn't and he's going to let me go first which is amazing he is playing no extra deck so you know what i think i want to normal summon this so i can limit his shit to one per turn hopefully it's not a twin twister hopefully it's not something that destroys monsters this hopefully is some i i, I don't think people read this card and I would not blame him because when you see a Rose Whip and you think, man, fuck a Rose Whip. But it makes me think he's playing True Dracos. So if he's playing True Dracos, hopefully he does not already have a good hand. And once you activate one card, that's just the end of that. And all right, so it looks like he's just going to tribute and attack over me. And that's the end of that situation, folks. And I think we're going to go ahead and just uh, hit the surrender button because there's absolutely nothing we can do against a True Draco deck. That just starts off with that card. And there's literally nothing we can actually do against that deck. See, see what I'm talking about? You actually you, you, you see what I'm talking about. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna hit him with the young uh this 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 this, this quietly hit him with a storming. Quietly hit him with a storming. And yeah, this deck we have literally no chance of actually winning because um the the reason we have absolutely no chance is um because of uh like these effects they trigger and we literally have no way to stop anything that's about to happen we have no ways to stop most of our cards are you know special summons and stuff like that and you know most of this deck is just tribute summon so yeah we don't play mad i don't think that no, we don't have a we do have an official side deck but um yeah we don't play mask restrict i don't believe we play mask like this is not a a meta side how about that that's better that's good um this is not a meta side deck i would say you know where we could um where we could uh you know put in mask restrictions shit like that we don't play none of that so that's um that's something we can't even like i said we don't have a very hard time playing against this deck this rose whip is going to do as much as it can but at the end of the day, we're not going to have the greatest, um, huh? Why is it tribute summoning? Why is that happening, folks? Okay. Well, you see, this is what I'm talking about. We literally have no fucking chance against this deck. Because once he summons a masterpiece that's unaffected by traps, there's nothing we can do. Um, and he's going to kill the Rose Whip. Because I guess Rose Whip was the most threatening thing on the board. So now we're going to see Terraforming, di di Diagram, Pot of Duality, shit like that. We're just going to see it today. Uh, all right, let's just go ahead and press this because I don't think anybody wants to see what's going to happen. That would have been a very awful 40 minutes of getting our ass whooped. So that's, that's the reason why I decided to cut that duel short is because I don't think anybody wanted to. And it looks like we're going to back up. Against the same exact person or the same exact deck at least. Um, sadly, we don't we don't really play too much to stop this, and that's a, that's a, that's something we can definitely change. We could uh, put a whole bunch of cards in here to stop two Dracos, and you know we'll have a very fun time doing it because we do, uh, we do for one, um, we do for one uh, play traps. So that means that we can incorporate a lot of, you know, traps and stuff. And that, I'm, I don't know what the fuck. I'm so flustered by playing this goddamn deck. It's not even funny. But what I was saying is we can incorporate. We can incorporate a lot of stuff. I was about to say, did that shit just not activate? Okay, well, how about this? We're going to do this. Yeah, we're gonna I mean especially some of the level four lower earth. So we're gonna get the young man known as Rose Whip because he's literally the greatest card in the deck. Possibly should have got the other one that uh triggers when you activate a spell and trap. But I'm saying we could uh put some um 
we can put like um royal uh, not royal tribute uh fucking mask restrict and shit like that and it doesn't fuck up our deck because we're already used to playing a buttload of um spells and trap hopefully he does not summon erebus or any of this anything of the sort he can only can activate one spell and trap now so i'm i'm not even tripping i'm not tripping at all rose whip did his motherfucking job and you know what next turn we can pop something and we can get we can get it cracking oh he's surrendering because he can't use anything no more that's that's what i'm talking about did he quit no he did not quit now what can we see this i'm talking about we can't really put anything because we haven't really made us this is just extra cards that we can't replace some cards with so if we did make a, an official side deck i believe we can really we can really fuck with the meta because you know we already pay 400 million traps so that's just automatically good and we can definitely uh we can definitely beat our opponent so we know he's playing monarchs bottomless great card just to start off with um floodgate possibly be even better so i think we're going to start with a floodgate here um because we can just hit anything with this that's what's good about floodgate we can literally hit anything now the soul charge uh, it's not going to be the most it's not going to be very useful because it's, we can't use it on the first turn so there's nothing really we can do too much about that but we can start off with this notorious sacred tree and with that being said um we can get a rose whip out and as you've seen what rose whip did the first time and we're going to allow it to do it again so hopefully this man does not have something like a twin twister or something like that because then we'll just be in a whole bunch of trouble we'll be in a whole shitload of trouble that we can't get out of and here's the rose whip right in defense mode right on time so now let's see what our opponent can do hopefully he does not open up something like a pantheism um, I don't, can care less about a tenacity. That does not bother me. Um, this is okay. This is all right. You know, I'm not tripping. I can't really stop anything about about this. Um, I can flug it, whatever he brings out. Um, but like I said, he's only locked. He's locked to one spell and trap. So it is a Caius, okay? All right. Um, do we need to? Hmm. I'm thinking. Do we need to do this? Uh. You know, we can do it. We can do it. It's not really a problem. We can do it. We can do it. So that that sucks. That sucks. But you know what? You know we. we we forced him to get rid of a damn Rose Whip. You know, Rose Whip does his job. <laughs> At the end of the fucking day, Rose Whip does his motherfucking or her or its job. And you know what? I kind of want to, I, I, I want to soul charge and just bring this back and go with Flasia. But then again, this motherfucker is the greatest card ever to exist. So it's like, damn, just summon this motherfucker in the turn. It's the greatest card to ever exists. This card, this card right here, single-handedly shuts down a lot of decks. And if you, you got when you got back row to back it up, that's just amazing. That's just good. That's just really good. That's a lot of. That's some good energy. Okay, so that's fine with me. You can't use this again. Um, he's already messed up because what what he did was completely stupid. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let this actually die. Why? Because I do have this soul charge. And that's the only reason I'm letting it die. Because I do have a soul charge. And yeah, look, he's not even he don't even got nothing. Dimensional barrier absolutely does nothing against this deck. Does absolutely fucking nothing. But that's alright. We got these two back out. Um so let's see what we can do now. It doesn't matter what we bring these out in, except for that one. That one needs to go in defense. Then we can normal summon this and go with Flasia. So that's cool. And uh, that, that's a card we should have easily took out immediately. But you know what? I was just trying to play. I was just trying to play. I was trying to play, folks. And, you know, it's probably going to end up 
making me lose the game because this easy could have been a, a, a time space. This easy could have been um, a floodgate, which most likely it would have been. Could have been a trap hole, you know, trap tricks, trap hole. Not, I mean, treacherous. It could have been treacherous trap hole. Could have been a twin twister. It could have been a heavy dust storm. Could have been anything else. Why? Why? You should only still be able to activate one though. So I'm not tripping. So, cause you you already activated it, so you shouldn't be able to activate. Like, damn, bro. Like brain control. Like first, first I I play against a a, a what's the name. Now this is getting trap trap trick. This is going to get negated. This is going to get negated because if I feel like he's trying to, he's trying to um he's trying to do some shit that I'm not allowing. Uh, let's trip. Let's in that. Let's dump you. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to do. But I I don't appreciate it. That's what I damn sure don't. I damn sure don't appreciate that. I don't know. He's giving off some very crazy energy right now. Why is that allowed? Okay, you know what? You got this because that that doesn't make sense. But okay, you got it. Uh, we can put this in. Let's take these dimensional barriers out. They put serve no purpose. We can put a third floodgate in. And um, yeah, I think that's literally the only things we can do. Can't really do too much. Like I said, we're playing against monarchs, uh, hafters. I mean, if we play against masterpieces, it's the same thing. We really. If we can dedicate a side deck to playing against the meta, we're definitely gonna win. This is an amazing hand. We just we just went off tops. We just went off tops because we fucking opened up this hand. And uh, I think I'm gonna get a tra uh, a trap trick trap hole nightmare, the one that negates effects, because I hate Idios and I hate Ether and I hate all of them. So we're gonna get this. We're gonna get that. Then we're gonna set this. I hope, he, I hope he has a fucking twin twister. Sadly, well, I don't know why we don't play uh, uh what's the name. And you know what? I feel like we're never gonna ever be able to use this after we flip this, so. Um please don't maxi me. Okay, thank God. This is anything but a maxi. Anything but a fucking maxi. Um replace yeah. And I feel like this is really strong. The reason why I feel like it's real strong, because we do have this Imperial Order set. With a Starlight Road and a Trap Chick Trap on Nightmare, so I feel like we can beat our opponent just by activating one card. And possibly we could decide two of these. Because this card is very underrated. It's a very good card. I I really appreciate this card. This card does the wonders for me. Um I hope he starts off with a pantheism. Because that's a neg two. Well, neg one because he gets a search. But then he can't use any of those cards, so Twin Twist would be even better if he starts off with that. Well, that he starts off with a Regeki, but that's fine. We have an Imperial Order. What are you going to do about that, sir? Let me guess. Stormforth. Come on, Energy. Stormforth? I feel like Stormforth is happening. I feel like it. I feel like it, man. I've, I've opened up a one of. He's got to open up a one of. He's got to. There you go. I knew it. I knew it, man. Ah, oh, fuck. It hurts so bad. I don't think you understand how badly it hurts. This shit hurts bad. This shit hurts really bad. Oh, he didn't have anything in his fucking hand. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Let's see what he did have. All right. So he just did not. Oh, wait. He could have. Why did he stop? I don't. I don't get it. Why? Why did he not? He could have summoned it. I I don't get it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Did he did that shit get negated? That's not right. That shit shouldn't have gotten negated. Wow, I, I don't I don't know about that being negated. But that is it for today. Thanks to uh, fuck, I really forgot who sent me this. That, but but you, you you guys just go, go look at the first video. Um, thank you for sending in the deck list and like that. We did have a lot of fun. I really feel like this deck has a lot of potential um, to be actually. You could definitely take this to a regional to a local and definitely win with this because of the traps and you know like like I said how versatile it is because of the traps. You could throw in three master restricts 
three rivalry of warlords, um, ah, warlords, warlords, uh, three goals and matches, shit like that. You can just really just just befuddle your opponent, and they literally can't do shit because like you got all this shit going. Some of the rose whip, sit a, uh, what's the name? Uh, throw some more traps back here, and you can really just punish your opponent. Um, you can, yeah, you can really do a lot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I uh, will see you guys tomorrow.